In this video, I've crafted a showcase of the must-have, latest Skyrim mods that will elevate your gameplay, magic, visuals, and outfits. We're not just delving into the newest mods, I've also got updates from the must-have scene to keep you well informed. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell to stay updated. So without further ado, let's dive right in. First of all, I would like to share with you some of the latest mods and news related to gameplay. There are a few mods and news that I want to tell you about. First, the news about EVG Animated Traversal 2.0. EVG Animated Traversal 2.0 Beta was released on January 8, 2024. This mod is essential, so I brought you the update news first. It has the same functionality, but it has been reworked internally. Most notably, you no longer need to run the Nemesis engine to use this mod, and it has been changed to work based on Open Animation Replacer. The creator says it's okay to update in the middle of the game and asks you to check the change log of the mod for more details. If you are interested, please check it out. Next up is EVG AT, Dynamic Climbable Ladder Doors. This mod replaces ladders that act like doors with animated ladders. This way, you can see a climbing animation when you exit the Skyrim world through a ladder-connected entrance, which enhances the immersion. Next up is Item Equip Restrictor. This mod is a SKSE-based framework that allows you to restrict item equip or spell cast using keywords. For example, you can differentiate equipment by gender, use weapons based on skill, or set other conditions. As shown in the video, if your character does not meet the requirements for using an item, you will see a message saying, you lack the necessary skill to equip this item. However, I was a bit disappointed that this mod does not have a feature to add phrases like, require level 15 to the item description, which would make it more cool. Although restricting item use by conditions might make the game more difficult, it would give a RPG-like feeling if you apply level restrictions to items like in Diablo. Next up is the update news for Quick Loot RE for 1.6.1130. Quick Loot RE is a mod that adds a looting menu similar to Fallout 4, which allows you to quickly check and acquire items from dead enemies or containers without switching to a new screen. A Quick Loot RE mod that is compatible with the 1.6.1130 update version has been released. If you were enjoying the Quick Loot mod but couldn't use it due to the update, this is your chance to try it again. <coughs> Next up is Underdog Death Animations OAR DAR. This mod adds various and realistic death animations for humanoid characters, extracted from underdog animations. It requires Open Animation Replacer to work. It offers 62 different death animations, depending on the enemy type, weapon type, cause of death, and more. Using Open Animation Replacer makes animation management easier and improves animation quality, so I recommend you to try it out. In this corner, we are going to introduce you to some visual mods for Skyrim. There are a few mods that we want to share with you. First, Shrubbery Symphony, Enhanced Greenery. This mod changes the shrubs and plants models in Skyrim. This mod offers two options. First, Replacer version uses the vanilla paths to replace the plants. No plugin is required, but the customization possibilities are limited. On the other hand, Base Object Swapper version uses BOS to swap the plants. It randomly adjusts the size and type of the plants to increase the diversity. It also comes with some patches. If you want to turn the Tundra region into summer, this mod might be a good choice for you. Please try it out if you like it. Next up is Cathedral, 3D Tundra Shrubs. This mod recreates the Tundra Shrubs of Skyrim in 3D. This mod matches the vanilla models and colors, saturation and brightness, and does not affect performance. Unlike the previously introduced Shrubbery Symphony, this mod is based on the original brown color scheme of the Tundra. If you use green grass in the Tundra area, you may need to test this mod before applying it and see if the harmony of green and brown is appropriate. 
The texture of the shrubs in this mod is very excellent. So if you want to upgrade the quality of the shrubs, this mod is also a good choice. In this corner, I'm going to introduce you to some magic-related mods. There are two mods that I would like to tell you about. First, there is the Dark Hierophant Magic Mod. This mod adds 10 new advanced shadow light spells. These spells are powerful and unique non-elemental magic that can ignore magic absorption. For example, the Penance Aura spell summons a Cross of Light as a weapon, and the Absolution spell damages enemies. On the other hand, there is also a spell that summons a Sword of Light, which has a distinctive appearance and visual. You can use it as a weapon or shoot it as a projectile. There is also a powerful spell that makes Swords of Light rain from the sky, which will make your Skyrim more cool and flashy. This is a great magic mod, so please try it out. Next up is Frostbitten Dreams Magic. This mod is a derivative of the Winter Wonderland Magic mod, and it adds seven mixed destruction and illusion spells that match Vermina's theme. You can create a sphere of dark energy to damage enemies, or create a soul of frost energy to damage them. You can also create a dark circle that damages enemies inside it, and more. This mod adds various types of magic, but if you prefer unique concepts over powerful damage, you might want to try it out. In this corner, I would like to introduce you to some outfit mods. I'm going to show you two kinds of outfits. First up is Elle's Tavern Maid outfit. This outfit is a costume that is compatible with 3BA BHUNP body, and it adds an outfit to Skyrim that feels more like a traveler than a maid, contrary to the title. It has ESL flag applied, so it does not take up a plug-in slot. It is an outfit that goes well with the neck and waist ribbon decorations and the white cloth and leather. It gives a bright feeling and can enhance the atmosphere, and it would look even better if you wear a backpack on the back. If you like it, please try it. Next up is River Watch. This outfit adds a unique imperial-themed light armor set and a mace. Although it has an imperial theme, the helmet with fur mane gives a feeling of a primitive tribal costume. The golden scales on the shoulders and the accessories evoke the image of an oriental warrior while maintaining its distinctive flair. This is a beautiful outfit that suits both men and women and can be worn comfortably. I decided to introduce this outfit to you because I think it has a wonderful theme, so please try it on if you like it. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the latest Skyrim mods to enhance your gameplay, magic, outfits, and visuals. I hope you discovered some exciting additions for your Skyrim adventure. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more content. Keep your Skyrim experience fresh and thrilling. Until next time, happy modding!